there's some new Tacomas right up there. There's a new Tacoma. Anyway. The TRD Sport looks like Solar Octane, and it looks like it's somebody's truck. Pretty nice. Still has stickers and stuff on it though, but pretty cool. Not mine though. Toyota of Far, and you guessed it, we're trading off the electric lime green Tacoma sitting there in the background for a 2024 TRD Sport, and this is in the red, and I can't remember the exact color. I'm here with Josh Landon. He is my salesman here. Great guy. If you need anything, make sure you check him out. Worked really smoothly with me, and I really do appreciate that. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what we've got. All right, let's take a look. Of course, down in the front, we've got the chin strap. I have to always point that out because I don't like it. It's going to have to go. But we're just going to do a, a brief overview. Obviously, we'll take a, a better look at the truck uh, once we get it home and all that stuff. Of course, we should have the soft tailgate, I hope. Oh, look at that. Brand new. It doesn't even want to open. Love it. We've got the rails on the sides that'll be good because the sport bar which you've probably seen will be going on this truck it's still amazing to me how light this thing is take a quick look inside look at that take a whiff of that ah, love that new smell anyway that's uh that's it for now just wanted to give you guys my first look at it love the truck love the color much more to come all right, it is time to remove a couple of things from the new truck, and I'm gonna go over the sticker on it and let you guys know how much I got for the 2023 electric lime Toyota Tacoma. First of all, gotta get rid of the dealer information, the advertising on the front, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, this license plate surround because I have my own which I'll be using when I get the plates. But there's no reason to leave this one on here. You guys know how I feel about dealer advertising, right? Oh, and there's even a frame that falls off. What the heck, man? Um, I guess it goes this way. It is kind of neat how they give it a place for the, well, it's on this side, for the uh, license plate to fit in. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. I, however, don't like how they drill through the uh, truck pet peeve of mine I mean we do have to have a front plate here in South Texas so I guess you know it, it kind of is what it is but uh, I'm not a big fan of that so let's go ahead get this back on and I will of course use black screws once I get my plates can't have these chrome screws on here and the good thing about this truck is there's not a ton of chrome on it uh, so that's a good thing now once I have those snug let's grab the camera and run around to the back we're gonna do the same thing back here although back here we do have the temporary tag uh, so it might be smart to actually put something around this and I might go ahead and do that we'll see but Let's see what we're left with. I imagine it's going to be necessary. Let's get this off, because it is obviously just a piece of paper that's laminated. There. Okay, these days, for some reason, we just have to have a Sirius XM sticker on the window. It drives me nuts. I mean, you know, if any of this adhesive 
which there always is, at least they could use a static sticker, right? Um, if any of the adhesive gets left on the window, you're going to have a nice smudge mark uh, when it gets dirt on it. And that sucks. I really have a problem with them putting these stupid stickers on the windows. And I think it actually happens at the manufacturer. I don't think that happens at the dealer for sure. So, that removes that one. Now, over on the other side, yeah, there's nothing else over there. Uh, we have another uh, sticker, and this is on the outside uh, window. And maybe this should, this probably should have been taken off. Well, it says here, not to be removed except after sale or lease to a customer. So what's so important about it? It says, for vehicles in this car line, this is a parts content sticker. 35% come from the U.S. and Canada. Major sources of foreign parts include Japan, 20%, Mexico, 30%. For this vehicle, final assembly point was in Guanajuato. Don't know how to pronounce it, Mexico. Country of origin, engine parts are U.S. Transmission parts are Japan. No, parts content does not include final assembly distribution or other uh, non-part costs. Anyway, that's so I know, probably a government requirement, I guess, uh, what parts are on here. And of course, this is leaving adhesive. Look at that. Nasty-ass stuff. Wow, that's going to be fun. And it's sticking to everything. See, this is something that they're required to leave on, I'm sure. And then me, as the owner, gets to screw with. Ugh. Great. What a mess. Anyway, look at that. Look at all that adhesive sticking on there. Well, fortunately, it's not everywhere. <laughs> but nonetheless, I still get to screw with this because of probably government requirements. You know, they have to tell us what parts I mean I know it's not all US parts right anyway you guys get the idea I'm gonna go ahead and finish that I'll have to break out some soap or something to clean it off because it's nasty alright it's all cleaned up again I hate when they do stuff like that anyway um, not a big deal we're gonna see if this fits too if I have time now, let's take a look at the sticker. I'm going to run over what, uh, what is in this truck or on this truck and what the included options are. So, let's take a look. First of all, this is a 2024 4x2 double cab. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm not sure how well it will come through on camera. It is supersonic red. Uh, made in Guanajuato, I don't know how to pronounce it, Mexico, so that is the final assembly point. And let me point out, it's assembly point, where it's put together, not where it is actually made. 22 miles per gallon combined city and highway, that's 20 in the city and 24 on the highway. They say it's going to cost me uh, about uh, $2,500 more in fuel over five years compared to the average new vehicle or $2,450. That doesn't really jive. I guess it does. Fuel economy is a five and small grading is a six if you care about that. So what is this? It is the iForce uh, 2.4 liter uh, four-cylinder turbocharged engine, eight-speed automatic. We all know that. Coil spring multi rear link suspension. Uh, tow hitch receiver. Safety and convenience. We've got the Toyota Safety Sense. Connected services, 4G network dependent, blah, blah, blah. Blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. Exterior, it has 18 inch machined alloy wheels. Smart key system. Uh, LED headlights with daytime running lights and fog lights. Interior fabric trim seats with driver lumbar, which is power by the way. It's not like a, the old crank thing. It is a power button for that. Although the rest of the seating is manual. Leather trim steering wheel, 8-inch Toyota All Audio Multimedia with six speakers, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, and of course this serious three-month trial. Uh, they did give me a full tank of gas, verified that of course. 
Optional equipment added. By the way, pricing after all of that is $39,400. Uh, 50 state emissions. Mud guards, $60. Premium paint charge, $425. And then there are some distributor options on here. Um, a ball mount, which you would have seen in a different video, I think, $89. The blackout package for $349. That includes black badge overlays and tailgate inserts. Kind of a waste for me because I will be removing the Tacoma wording that's on the sides of the truck, not in the tailgate. Connectivity kit $75, dash cam $499. Exhaust tip black chrome $130. Uh, vehicle fueling that's included. Spray on bed liner $575. I will be putting a mat in there. Uh, vehicle protection package, $399. Paint renewer cleaner, uh, fabric sealant, fabric guard, all of that. I did not get any of that with this truck because I did not want it, so it was not in the price. Uh, moving on down, oval tube step, black. I do have those, $700. They were already installed. I probably would not have gotten those. That brings us to, uh, by the way, those dealer distributed options would have been $2,816 for a grand price, or total price, of $44,196. Now, you surely noticed this. Uh, this was an addendum to the price, so that $44,196 is not what they were going to charge. What they were going to charge was, let's see... Uh, total protection package includes $4,595. That would have been premium protection, diamond ceramic interior and exterior protection for $995. Paint protection film, $1,500. Expel tent, $680. All weather mats, $425. And flex protect, which is a security thing, for $995, which would have brought the price of this truck to $48,791. I did not pay anywhere near that for this truck. Now, everybody always wants to know, of course, what did they give me for the green truck? Oh, we got some really dark shots there. Let's go over here. What did we pay for the green, or what did we get for the green truck, rather? My uh, trade-in value on that truck was 37000 We're going to round it to $500. That's what I got out of the truck. Um, that was an increase over where we started. Uh, there was some negotiation involved in this, and I will say there is always room for negotiation, so never think that you have to pay this you know, 40 some thousand dollar price, you know, unless of course you want that stuff. You're getting something for it if you're going to pay for it, right? Notice there was no dealer adjustment or add in. Um, I did not pay a dealer adjustment or add in. Again, everything is negotiable. It's kind of up to you as to what you want to do. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think so far. We're going to go over everything on this truck. That's kind of why I've started where I've started here because I want to cover everything given that this is a new model. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff on it. I find that I don't know anything about this truck because it's completely different. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.